The New York Times calls him one of the leading experts in face-to-face -face communication in the world. The Economist magazine calls him truly inspirational. HBO calls him the kickstart expert. And Good Morning America says his book is my Bible. Nicholas Boothman is an entertaining speaker who has shared the podium with top names like Jack Welch, Cheryl Richardson, and Dr. Phil. 55% of face-to-face -face communication comes from what you see. 38% comes from the tongue of voice. Tongue of voice. 7% comes from the words you use. His books, How to Make People Like You in 90 Seconds or Less, and How to Connect in Business in 90 Seconds or Less, have been translated in more than 20 languages. He's taught his revolutionary technique of rapport by design in Fortune 500 corporations, as well as colleges and universities around the world. It is your attitude more than anything else at the beginning of an encounter that determines the results of that encounter that you succeeded. What you are about to see are highlights from a recent speech given by Nicholas Booth to 7,000 business people as he inspires them to maximize the most important 90 seconds of any encounter, be it business or personal, and set the mood for lasting, profitable relationships. How long do you think it takes to decide whether or not you like someone when you meet them for the first time? I'm going, to, I'm going to say some numbers. I just want you to clap if we get near or rattle your jewelry or stamp your feet. Do you think it takes more than 90 seconds? More than 60 seconds? Less than 60 seconds? Less than 30 seconds? Less than 10 seconds? It takes two seconds. The Harvard School of Health Sciences did the best research on the subject. The title of their study was Students seeing a two second video clip of a teacher with no sound came to the same conclusion about that teacher as students who had spent an entire semester with them. <laughs> really, they gave them 40 questions and there were kind of multiple choices. Is this person open or closed, jealous, not jealous? They took uh, one look at a two second video clip with no sound. And then the students who had been an entire semester, and guess what? The answers were virtually the same. We look at people, we make snap judgments about them. But that's not the million dollar secret. We decide whether or not we like someone in the first two seconds of seeing them. It's part of our hard wiring. But big deal. So what? Well, here's so what. When you like someone, you see the best in them. And if you don't like them, you tend to see the worst in them. And you make that decision really quickly. If I like the guy, he's enthusiastic. If I don't like him, he's overbearing. <laughs> if I like the woman, she's kind. If I don't like her, she's weak. When we meet people for the first time, we respond to what we see. And I'm going to prove it to you. I'm going to prove to you that what we see is more important than anything else. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to all stand up, please. Can we bring the house lights up a little bit so we can see each other? Now, and you should be able to see me on these monitors. I want you to do just what I say. I want you to put your arms out sideways. Don't grope anybody unless they ask you to. With the finger and thumb of your right hand, make a circle. Bend your right arm in the middle. Turn the circle towards your face and place it against your chin. Your chin! Please sit down, thank you. There are actually only six things that any of us do on a day-to-day -day basis apart from body functions. Underneath everything else, there are only six things we do. And you're doing them all right now. Five of them are, you use your senses. We go out into the world every day and we use our senses. We see, we hear, we use physical sensation, we smell and we taste. There's only one other thing that we do, right down underneath everything else, and it's this. We process language. We go into the world and we have experiences through our senses and we put those experiences into words. And then we explain them to ourselves and explain them to other people. In essence, that's all business is about. All business, no matter what you do, whether you're selling girl guide cookies or financial products, is about taking good ideas to market. It is your attitude more than anything else at the beginning of an encounter that determines the results of that encounter, whether you succeed or fail. We pick up on attitude. When you greeted each other now, you are responding to the body language that comes with attitude. 
55% of face-to-face -face communication comes from what you see. 38% comes from the tone of voice. And only 7% comes from the words you use. So go figure email, for starters. Your attitude determines how your message is received. Also, attitudes are infectious. You know jolly well if you're with somebody and they're angry, it makes you feel kind of strange. Or if someone's happy, it makes you feel kind of strange too. Here's something for you to do. Here's something for you to check this out. Please stand up. Let's invest a few seconds. We're going to use the word cauliflower. Cauliflower. Just say cauliflower to the person next to you. And the person on the other side. Cauliflower. And the person behind you. <laughs> now then, using voice tone and body language, I want you to say cauliflower to the person next to you as if you're angry. Cauliflower! Use your body language! And now I want you to say cauliflower as if you're happy. Oh, cauliflower. No, no, no. There's, there's somebody here. There's somebody here going, cauliflower. No, take, no, take your hands out of your pockets. You're happy. Cauliflower. Now I want you to say to all the people around you as if you're really sad using body language and voice tone. Cauliflower. 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 Oh, God. God. You're breaking my heart. It's cauliflowers. Please sit back. First book, how to make people like you in 90 seconds or less. People laugh and thought, oh, yeah, right. No, no, no. It all happens in the first three or four seconds. But if I had said how to make people like you in three or four seconds, nobody would have bought the book. But it does happen that way. We check on your... You pick up on someone's attitude before, you, before they've opened their mouth, before you've even seen them. And so there are useful attitudes and useless attitudes. Useless attitudes, when you meet someone for the first time, are angry or hostile. Cauliflower. Cauliflower. Impatient. Cauliflower. Annoyed. Cauliflower. Really useful attitudes when you meet someone for the first time is perhaps curious. A cauliflower. Or enthusiastic. Cauliflower. Resourceful. Cauliflower. Or warm. Cauliflower. Or playful. Cauliflower. You can adjust your cauliflower before you meet somebody. So that's the first thing that these guys had. They had useful attitudes. These guys had useless attitudes. The next thing these guys had was this. They had, you know, we have this fight or flight response. We see someone for the first time. Basically in business, you can, you, you, you're saying to yourself, is this person a threat or an opportunity? My next book, which is called How to Make Someone Love You in 90 Minutes or Less and Make It Last Forever, we call it, are you alarming or charming when you, someone sees you for the first time? The basic package that goes with alarming or charming, though, is this. When you meet someone for the first time, look them in the eye, smile, and open your body language. Really simple stuff. But you know, you go to an institution to do business, or you do business with someone, and they don't look at you, there's no trust there. And this is all about trust. This is all about trust and connecting. So, here's what you do. When you meet someone for the first time, look them in the eye, smile, and open your body language. Well, okay, not everyone can do that. So here are three great tips for you. Because you, I have to tell you, we were all born with great people skills. All of us. Babies have got great people skills. They lie there, they give you eye contact, they smile, they open their body language, you grin at them, and they give you the teethy grin, gums back, and you go blah, 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 and they go blah, 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 back at you. But by the time you're 13, you lose your inborn people skills. Many people do just because of the way they've learned to think without thinking, put their experiences into their destiny.